Well, if you're a music junkie and you're in New Orleans, you have got to come down to this Louisiana State Museum exhibit. One room packed with the story of the unsung heroes of the secret history of Louisiana rock and roll. Where was rock and roll born? Well, this tells the story. Shreveport, Lake Charles, Lafayette, Crowley, Baton Rouge, and New Orleans. Tons of information here, visual, auditory, about the sources of all this music we've been listening to for the past 50 years, where it was actually the roots for it, the foundation of it, right down here. Louisiana, <laughs> Louisiana Garage Rock, only in New Orleans. Wine, women, and whiskey. Papa Lightfoot singing New Orleans blues. A whole photo montage on this wall, including information about Dr. John, Mac Rebenack, other people you recognize like Alan Toussaint, and other people you just don't recognize but whose music, echoes of whose music you can hear all the way down to today. Three kings, guitar players, songwriters, composers. More information about artists that maybe you have or haven't heard of, who, right down to this day, have an effect on the music we listen to. New Orleans, the famous studio of Cosimo Matassa, who began recording back in 1958. Great information about this. Good rocking tonight. You remember that one? <laughs> I do. Little Richard, Tutti Fruity. I remember that. Lots of um, audio visual, um, lots of um, videos, musicians who have been um, rooted in New Orleans, including the New Orleans piano tradition, with people such as Professor Long Hair at Tipitina's, and of course, the fat man, that's Domino. More later in some shorter bursts, but this is the big picture. Come on down and see the rest for yourself.